have these habits, you know, that I do every day that just help me stay on top of my self care. Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey, if you are new here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some of my favorite beauty tips, makeup tricks, and we're just gonna jump right into the video. So instead of going onto the lips with your lipstick, get an eyeshadow brush, pick up the product. And you can do this in place of lip liner, just like paint it on. And it just gives more of a poutier look. And I like the soft effect that it gives. So that vlog that I posted of me getting my lips done, the lip police came for me so hard. The old me would have like deleted all those comments, but there were so many like negative comments. I was just like, I don't have the time to sit here and like delete these. Eyeshadow brush with lipstick. I love it. And this is a really beautiful color, by the way. This is the ColourPop Cream Fresh Lipstick. My next beauty tip is don't be afraid to play with accessories. So whether that's some really fun, bold earrings or my favorite way to have fun with accessories is glasses. I actually just picked up some new frames from Glasses USA. Shout out to today's sponsor. And they have tons and tons of frames to choose from. You can even upload a photo of yourself and see what the frames are going to look like. I feel like frames can really just say so much about your personality. So don't be afraid to, uh, you know, if you usually go with a black basic frame, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if that's what you typically go for, a fun way to jazz things up is to go, you know, for a pink frame or a frame that has some type of print or design. I get all of my frames, even my kids' frames from Glasses USA. I love them so much. So yeah, don't be afraid to have fun with your frames and accessorize. Accessorizing can be so fun and really just, um, make you look just more put together. And and not only is it a look, but I just like the way I feel, you know, when I have some really cool frames or really cool earrings. You can find my glasses at glassesusa.com. Be sure to check out that link in the description box below for a great offer and free shipping. Glassesusa.com also offers prescription glasses. Uh, I love it. It's so easy. I just upload my daughter's prescription. I just grabbed it from her eye doctor. You upload it. She gets to pick out her frames. And again, they have so many really cool frames to choose from. My favorite collection is actually the Muse and Hilary Duff collab. Look at how stylish and cute all of these glasses are. They also have contacts and they offer free shipping and returns. Next tip is cuticle oil every day. When I don't use cuticle oil, my hands, my nails start to look kind of uh, crusty. If I skip a few days, um, things start to get weird. So cuticle oil is your best friend. My next tip is actually about feet. I recommend applying some type of like foot mask or foot lotion um and i'm gonna link my favorite like cuticle oil my favorite my favorites down below so make sure you guys check out the description box because there'll be like more info down there i have a favorite foot mask i put it on my feet every single night and i just have soft feet all of the time pay attention to your feet even give your feet a massage they love that they carry us around all day end of the day um it's just a nice like little gift to your feet to do a massage and also moisturize them so you have soft feet i love having soft feet i don't like not having soft feet so um every single night massage my feet and i apply some type of cream or mask Next tip is a beauty hack. I don't know about you guys, but 
I'm, I'm in my 30s now. I have these like little tiny fine lines under my eyes. And sometimes after you put concealer and then powder, it can start to look a little crazy. So my tip is to do a really thin layer of concealer. Don't worry too much about like coverage. Just do a really thin layer instead of just going in with so much product, right? So after you do your first layer, nice and thin, tap it on. You're gonna do a second layer, tap it on. And then you are going to get your setting powder and you're gonna get a setting spray. You are going to get your powder, your setting powder. You're gonna pick that up with your finger as well. And you're gonna tap your powder and then you're gonna use a setting spray, a makeup setting spray, but not, don't spray it like on your face. Spray it like on the back of your hand just so you can pick it up again with your ring, ring finger. And then you're gonna tap over the powder. And this kind of just locks everything in. And when I do this, I don't have any creasing. I don't have any like caking. Like it just, it looks so beautiful and it stays that way. All right, next tip that I have for you is take your skincare serious. Have a morning skincare routine and a night skincare routine that you master. A lot of women, you know, are buying poor, uh, primers for their pores and they're you know looking for the most full coverage to cover their skin but i really believe the older that i get anyway mastering your skincare and really taking care of your skin getting to know your skin and like i said mastering your morning and night routine um it's just it's gonna benefit your makeup routine right because your skin is gonna be in good shape so you're not gonna need as much foundation you're not gonna need as much concealer Again, the older I get, the less I want to use that. In my 20s, I put pounds of foundation on, pounds of concealer, pounds of powder. And I still catch myself doing this sometimes. I'm like, whoa, girl, like that's too much. But we're, we're learning, we're growing, it's fine. The older I get, the more I focus on my skincare and really am, I'm trying to ease off of the foundation and concealer. And that's not to say that I'm not gonna use foundation or concealer, I just use it in a different way. I use a lot less. <laughs> Next tip is a hair tip, actually. This is gonna be for my fine hair girls. I have fine hair, I've always had fine hair. You just, you have to treat it different from someone that doesn't have fine hair. And this is something that I actually came across recently. So fine hair and conditioner. Um, and just try this out. If, if it works for you, let me know. I'm really excited because the first time I tried this out, it transformed the relationship that I have with my hair, my natural hair texture. Use like a pea size amount. Try using a pea size amount of conditioner, even if your hair is long. I mean, if you have a lot of it and it's really long, use two size use two pea size amounts but if your hair is like mine you know shoulder length on the thinner side fine use just a pea size amount of conditioner i swear this is going to change your hair so for so for my whole life actually i would just use a lot of conditioner thinking i need to put moisture in my hair i need give me all the conditioner and I would just put so much conditioner in my hair. Sometimes I wouldn't even rinse it all out because I'm like, oh, I wanna leave some of it in. And it's just, don't ever do that. I forgot where, but someone, someone had told me to use very little conditioner. So I tried that and ever since then, my hair, it doesn't feel as weighed down. It feels like I have more of it. It's crazy. Very, very little conditioner and see how your hair turns out. Let me know how it goes. Another tip is when you are applying your skincare products, you wanna make sure that you're applying thinnest to thickest. So your thinnest product is gonna go first and your thickest, heaviest product, like a cream, is gonna go last. So this next tip is like where to put your tongue um, and this is actually more for like photographs. If you're being like photographed from the side, I know how to suck this in. You know how like you suck your tummy in? <laughs> I know how to suck my double chin in. And see how you have like, well, I, not everyone has this, but for those of you, my double chin girls, it's for you. <laughs> this is for us. Um, when you put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, this kind of goes away. that weird? <laughs> this is 
not sucking it in. And then this is me sucking it in. And my number one beauty secret or beauty tip that I have for you, and that is smiling. And I know it like, it could be really annoying, right? When someone's like, smile or why aren't you smiling? And, and you're in a bad mood, but really I think the most beautiful thing a woman can do is be happy. Smiling just, I don't know, I think when you're smiling, you automatically look beautiful. Um, there's times like when I was going through a depression and I would like vlog and I would record myself. Sometimes we don't see our faces, right? We don't know what we look like. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I look so like stinky. I look so miserable and and I didn't look and I didn't feel like I looked my best. So definitely do the inner work to get to a happy space, to a happy place to find some peace because there again there is nothing more beautiful than seeing a happy woman. And that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not following me on Instagram um Give this video a thumbs up. It shows me that you care. Also, don't forget to check out Glasses USA. I'm gonna leave a little promo and everything down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.